welcome back to another one. No, my gun is unloaded. That's a little bit about what today's video is all about. Gun safety, gun safety, gun safety. And there's a lot of different ways to look at it. Whew. But today, we're gonna go over some of my main ones. Some of the ones that, uh, some of the gun safety topics that I wanna make sure that all you guys know about, you're aware about, and you're, and you're not only aware about, but you practice on the hunts, uh, on the quad, making sure your gun's not loaded, uh, in the truck when you put your gun back in your truck. So, are you ready to help dad make a video, buddy? Are you ready? So, today's video, uh, yeah, it's a foul Friday, but it's going up on a Saturday. For one thing, uh, as you guys are watching this, I am in North Dakota right now shooting honkers. The first honker hunt video should be coming up hopefully tomorrow, being Sunday. If not Monday, but hopefully I'm going to be able to have some Wi-Fi up north. Wi-Fi up there is really sketchy. Hopefully I can have it ready and up by Sunday. Other than that, a couple things. We have a huge drop coming August 20th at DucksWaterfowl.com. A lot of you have been asking, Bobby, when's the new gear going to be available, dude? New hats. And check it out, guys. New duck and goose calls from ducks will be available on that same date. August 20th. I'll give you a little sample real quick. Duck, it is a double reed acrylic. All of our calls will be acrylic all year long. Check it out. <laughs> Sounds pretty darn good. Uh, the, the goose call, the more I blow it, the more I love it. You know me, I love my, my goose hunting. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. I need to practice still on it and get used to it. Like I said, the calls will be available. Check that bad boy out. Flat black acrylic. Oh yeah, and the price of them for acrylics going to be right. You've never found any acrylic calls this cheap, y'all. August 20th, August 20th. Back to the topic at hand. Today's video is gun safety. And a lot of my viewers out there, a lot of you have layout blinds. A lot of you have used layout blinds. Uh, for one thing, we're not gonna really cover layout blinds, but I do wanna say, if you're new to layout blind hunting, please, please, please just keep your gun on safety. Uh, it can get tight in there with your gun in the layout blind. But today's topic, is over A-frames and panel blinds. As you can see, I got one of my panel blinds set up and over my experience, my past year's experiences, I have encountered some very dangerous situations that I wanna bring to light with you guys and uh, let you guys learn firsthand with me here rather than having a major accident in the field. These gun safety videos, not only these videos, but gun safety in the field on every single duck, goose, pigeon, dove hunt that I do is extremely important and I want you guys to understand that. Guns are not toys. Hunting is, uh, is very critical. There's people around us, there's dogs, there's other humans' lives around us that uh, rely on our safety at all times for their safety. You get what I'm saying? So let's get right into it. I'm gonna waste no time. A-frames and panel blinds. Here, Fred. So, dogs have a big part of this video. Dogs in A-frames, they'll get to zipping from one end to the next. And where are our guns as hunters? Our guns are right there, just leaning up against there. It falls, and it falls. And the dog, he knocks it over. He don't mean to knock it over. Dogs are excited in the blind, very excited. And they knock guns over, constantly. And a loaded gun falling over it's very, very dangerous, y'all. So, first off, if you, I'm gonna show you a little tool that I use and that I'm gonna start using a lot more. First off, always try to put your gun in a corner. I don't like to rely on this because, number one, panel blinds like this one here, they are prone to just blowing over. These are not like structurally, they don't have the integrity like, a, uh, like an A-frame. But even A-frames, when it's windy, they will blow and they'll shake. And when it blows and shakes, it only takes so much for that gun to fall over. Now, yes, I'm making a video over your gun getting knocked over, falling down, because again, it has happened to me on hunts, 
to people I'm with, to myself, I am guilty of it. I have seen more guns fall over in panel blinds and A-frames than, than I'd like to admit. That's why I, I love to admit it on the channel because I want to keep you all safe. And I want you all, all you beginners especially, who have never hunted like this, who have never, you know, been around dogs, um, it's, it's critical. It's very, very critical. So, that's number one. Number two, a couple ways to fix it. A couple ways. Number one, these right here, I preach about these, and I'm going to start preaching about them more. Look at that. That is a 99 cent, very, very strong clamp from Home Depot. 99 cents. It might have been like $1.50 a piece. What I'm getting at, y'all, is even if you clamp these, like right there, give your gun something to actually like lean up against. You can actually lean it up against there. You know what I'm saying? Now these panel blinds, you really can't clamp it. Some of some of the A-frames, you can actually clamp your barrel to the blind and it won't allow it to fall at all. But what I'm getting at is even if you bought two, let's say you bought two, you clamp one on each side, guess what? You just prevented that gun from falling by probably 80%, 75%, with two dollars two dollars could have saved your buddy's life on either side so yes that sounds very critical because it is very critical i can guarantee you last season alone and i'm not exaggerating this i wish i was i seen uh i'm gonna take a wild guess minimum 20 minimum 20 guns fall over in a-frame and panel blind situations just like this and most of them it wasn't the dog's fault most of them it was windy and the blind shook and they fell over but two dollars y'all invest in this keep these in your blind bag at all time if you keep them in there bam you use them and you might save your buddy's life again okay this um this what i'm getting ready to show you a lot of you hopefully already do quite a bit it just has to do with your shotgun shell guys uh when it's downtime let's say everybody just got ready here friend here come here buddy heel sit down we're in the blind man come on now come on let's say you just sat down in the morning everybody loads their gun you're waiting on the birds to show up guys take your shotgun pull your bolt back throw your shell in sideways with the brass out that right there again if the gun falls, there is not one loaded in the chamber. All it takes to do, all you gotta do is pull it back and throw it in there. I can't do this one-handed very well. There you go, now she's ready to go. Put it in there when you see the birds coming. Uh, once you shoot, or let's say the birds flare and or, or they didn't like you or they kept flying, do it again. Take it back out and put it in there sideways, just like that. That is safe right there, y'all. Again, you didn't have to go buy anything extra. You didn't have to go buy no special 99 cent gadget. You just literally threw it in there sideways. Again, everybody beside you, yourself, is safe when you do that. Now, obviously, your safety. Let's talk about the third item at hand, guys, safety. Your safety switch. I, I really don't have to preach that a lot. I feel like most of you have been through hunter safety class and, and understand how important your safety being off is. Only turn it off when, um, when right before you're ready to shoot. Basically, you're getting ready to pull up, click. Should be a knee-jerk reaction. Do not turn it off safety way before the birds are coming and then forget it's off safety and then lean it back up there. Now it's loaded off safety. You know what I'm saying? Don't turn it off of safety until right before you're getting ready to shoot. Don't get so ah oh, that you forget about gun safety. That's really what I'm trying to to uh, to get out there and into your guys' heads so much. Uh, a lot of my new guys out there, especially big big duck hunts, big goose hunts, when those birds are coming in front of you, just brrr, boy, I, I I get it. You can get excited, but with excitement. Please, 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 let's pay attention to gun safety. <laughs> now, this is not the craziest video. I knew it wasn't going to be. I'm not expecting it to get a crazy ton of views, and I really don't care how many views it actually gets. If I can save one person's life out there 
with my little tips, those two, three tips right there, hey, that's a win for me. All right, you know what it is. You know what time it is. At the end of every Foul Friday, yes, I know this is a Saturday, but at the end of every Foul Friday, we open all your guys' juicy packages. Oh yeah, there's a P.O. box. It's linked down in the description. If you want to send something my way, usually people like to send something decoy related or something decorative for the lodge. Either or, that's fine. But today, oh, and again, I have to always say this. Please, if you're going to send something, make sure it is positive, decent, respectful, legal, necessary, you know? Anyways, here we go. Uh, ooh, let's read our juicy little note here. Dear Bobby Guy, these are your Texas rigs we made for you. Aha, Tristan and Coy. What up, dude? Uh, they hit me up. Man, it was probably, how long ago was that? Probably a month ago? Bobby, can we make you some Texas rigs? Here they are. I haven't even got to see them yet. Oh, nice. Those are nice heavy ones. What ounce are those? Like six at four ounce. Four ounce. Thank you. Look at that. Dude, those are really nice. About two and a half footers. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Coy, Tristan, thank you. I will definitely be using these on my new decoys. Woo, boy. I don't know what type of tape you use there, buddy, but my goodness. Let's check out what's inside here. I have no idea what this is. It's right. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it's really wrapped up. I think it's delicate or old. It looks like a decoy. Man, he really wrapped her up. What do we have here? Can tell it's a decoy or a goose or a duck of some sort. Oh, look at this. Beauty. Gorgeous, man. Woo, boy, howdy. What is this? Captain somebody Delta waterfowl number two. That is a oh, it's a wooden decoy I remember you getting a hold of me and asking if you could send me a wooden decoy Look at that beauty Look at that beauty What's in here? See, did he not send a note? No note? Oh This is the guy I got gotcha. it wasn't that long ago. Check it out shotgun shell <laughs> Shotgun shell shot glasses You guys are way too awesome James Galvin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This will look Amazing in the lodge. Look at that beauty That is awesome. That is awesome. I'm, I'm guessing this was one At maybe a DU event or something or a Delta event Delta waterfowl event maybe but a hand carved i can guarantee you that's a hand carved wooden mallard that thing is not cheap it will look very very good in the lodge thank you thank you thank you james i appreciate it a lot a bunch if you guys want to send anything like this again i really like the lodge decor that, that i mean that's that's kind of the best lodge is going to be full of your guys's decorations i'm i'm serious but like i said if you guys want to send something the P.O. box is down in the description below. Make sure you check out the Ducks t-shirt of the month. This is the teal, that blue winger fast food. Blue wing season's coming September, y'all. I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are getting the decoys clean. I hope you guys are organizing all of your blinds, all your shells, all the mess that you've accumulated over the off season. And I hope you guys are training them dogs up. More dog training videos to come. But I want you guys to uh, be on the lookout. The North Dakota Honker Hunt. I'm hoping it'll be up tomorrow, if not Monday. Sunday, Monday. Stay tuned, y'all. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell if you haven't. We'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. I've been getting laid back. Baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism. Pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.